another day and I'm psyched to make it really efficient. I'm going to design part. I'm gonna keep the 3D printer running. So this is my way to the studio. Here's the Royal Castle, by the way. Whose bike is coolest? So this is what we're building, the music tightness meter. Yesterday I made this gear and now I'm going to design this small gear here that will meet the big gear. And I'm learning on shape and I think I should go here to the assembly and create a new part studio in context. Select origin and I want the same origin. So let's see, gear two. So now I want to derive the master sketch from part studio one. I'm going to select part studio one and I want to derive the side sketch because this is the skeleton for our design and this is the pivot for the new gear we're making. Let me show you a nice on shape thing. I want to fillet all the edges of these teeth because it's 3D print. So shift F for fillet and I'm choosing this edge. Right click, select equal length radius edges. I do the same, select equal length and it does it for all the teeth. And I can even do this one, select equal length radius edges. This compute takes some time, but now you can see that we managed to select all the edges with like three clicks and boom, all our gear teeth are filleted. Really, really nice. Let's export to STL and send. So now the printer is going and I'm going to keep on designing. We want to make a lot of parts today. Making a bearing lid here and I'm using the whole feature that people swear by. We want the hole to be 6.2. And if we isolate this, shift P to get rid of the sketches, shift F for fillets. We're going to do the select equal trick even he also here. And the part is done. That part took me two minutes, so that was good. <laughs> this raised rim here is the secret to the part that is squeezing the outer ring of the bearing. Okay, progress. I can see here we're at 21% of the print, so when that's done we can have two new parts. But now then to something more difficult, the next gear. And I, I'm going to try to print it in one piece. To be able to print this new gear in one piece, I do need to chamfer the edge here. Uh, to not have a giant overhang when I'm printing this. Okay, the teeth are filleted and looks nice. Now let's draw some beautiful spokes. So this angle is 360 divided by 12. Six instances. Boom! Nice and chunky print on this print bed. So here's a good point with my design. The program wants to make supports for these teeth, but thanks to the chamfer, I don't need it. So this can be printed without support. Thanks to the brilliant design. Okay, we're almost ready to print that. Let's go take our first gears for today. I love to do that and the support is just staying. Nice. And very nice. Printer is ready to rock. The perfect amount of ice. The first layer is going down and it looks really so far. I'm running it on ludicrous, 166% speed. It's printing really fast. This is not sped up. Here's the gear that we assembled in vlog 8. And I put together this small little gear just to try how it's meshing while we're waiting for the other parts. It feels like it's meshing really nicely. I think we earned our daily bibimbap with this gear. You don't know how good this is. Every day. Let's check in on the print. It's a critical face here with the overhang. Looks pretty nice. Oh, that was the sound that the print is done. Let's go get it. I cherish these walks to the printer to get out of the computer. Let's see, it's massive. This PC prints so nicely. It prints like nicer than PLA. Making the print bed ready for next print. Boom, I'm gonna show you these walls in the good camera because this is scary nice. Oh, no, no, no. No, I have a defect. The whole print has like melted or something. 
No, it's risen from the. Oh, I was cheap. Oh no, this is on the. This is on the top. This is such a weird printer error. Here you can see the teeth looking perfect, and then something is happening here. You can see that it's all gooey and stuff. And I think this section just released from the print bed and got deformed. But I do think we can save this by filing off some of the excess here. And the gear will still run smooth. Because it's actually only in one spot. The rest of the gear is absolutely perfect. And it says in the instructions for this filament that you should use the print bed adhesion glue. And I didn't. And of course I should have when you print such a large print and you really want to succeed with a full print. Let's assemble this for fun. Nice. It's half past three in the afternoon. I've been really efficient today, not procrastinated a single second and worked hard to get this assembly designed and into the real world. I'm going to bike home and buy a used drawer, but then I'll be back tonight, I think, to finish this off so we can make a really nice green point at the end of this vlog. So let's send these four parts to the printer. The drawer I'm buying isn't fitting in my car, so I need to bring some tools to disassemble it to get it into the car. I think I want this one, and let's take a nice collection of bits. Ikea says I need these tools. What is this tool? Is it a tool to make a point? It worked. So I got all the furniture in and then a mitts uh, to celebrate and then back to the studio. Okay, back in the saddle. Here's the gears waiting for the last parts. Lovely with support that just falls off. So here's the support stage. Let's just pop it out. I put the uniform on for this final assembly. Here's the new parts. Let's clean first. Clean in my world is swiping it on the yeah. <laughs> onto the floor apparently. I'm really happy with this day because I didn't even have to try to not procrastinate. I just didn't want to procrastinate today. I just was fulfilled by working today. And I think I've learned a lot in Onshape and I made a whole assembly that didn't exist this morning. And when I leave work, it does exist. For all those, I like to drill them up with the bolt that's going through because they're a little tight. Because then I don't crack them when forcing the bolt through. All right, so we have a bearing seating in the middle of this gear here. Perfect fit. And then the other seat is in this gear. Then we have the bearing lid with the countersunk holes. And then from this small gear we have the spacer. So this is just a six millimeter spacer. And then comes the big gear from this direction. In this last piece, obviously, we're going to put the X nuts. So the shoulder bolt goes into the bearing. This gear is running so much more true than the segmented one, obviously. I mean, the segmented one is good, but it's not, it's not really, really accurate. So I'm going to push in the other hex nuts in the last one. Nice. I'm so satisfied. This assembly did not exist this morning, and now it does. Silent and smooth. So we have this print efficiency here. I'm going to file, file that down. So all these teeth are healthy and nice. Here's the damaged ones. It's because this section up here released from the print bed. This is the first one. I'm gonna remove that little... You see there's a little bump there. <laughs> this is not carbon fiber, so I'm not scared of treating this. I think everything that was in the way for the function is gone. Can you keep a secret from the main channel? 
we're gonna repair this with some Posca marker. <laughs> Why not? Because this doesn't look so nice. That marker was great, but it's our secret. <laughs> All right, so the big wheel is this one down here. And the wheel we made today is the middle one, this one. Tomorrow I'm going to make the last one, which is going to be super simple. Do we have a new high score incoming? I'm honestly very pleased with it today. I feel we got closer to the world tour today because of my work ethics. Like I haven't wasted a second. I haven't even felt like procrastinating today because I had so much fun. For that fact, we're gonna have a high score. This project can't go higher than nine, which is half, but I'm gonna give myself a nine, which is the first building day which gets a nine, and I had a lot of fun. It's here, it's a seven, it's a nine, seven. And look at the trend, six, seven, eight, nine. We're moving in the right direction. I think I'll update the chart by doing a square grid like this. Down here is to give up and make music with MIDI keyboard zone. Here is the tinkering your heart out and have fun zone, which is tinkering but not efficient. Down here is execution and up here is excellence, something like that. Vlog 9. It's done. Look, <laughs> the Wilsons are so happy.